I think we can safely say that the MCU is currently struggling to find its footing now. The so-called multiverse saga really isn't a saga so much as it is a loose collection of ideas floundering about. As of today, this Phase 4 has 7 movies and 8 series. Meanwhile, Phase 5 has 3 movies and 2 series. Granted, it's a second season, but you get the idea. We have a ton of content, yet no one is satisfied. Why is this? Well, the ton of content in and of itself is a problem. We have more hours of Phase 4 content than we do of Phase 1 and 2. Phase 1 was only 6 movies. Phase 2 was also 6 movies. In Phase 3, we had 11 movies. Now, I can excuse Phase 3 a bit because A, Marvel built up my investment enough, and B, we had enough of a through line to motivate people to watch those movies. The Infinity Stones were scattered around the universe and affected the plot. Oh, what's this stupid cube in Phase 1 that Red Skull was seemingly vaporized by and was using to make weapons? That is in Howard Stark's notes that Tony's flipped through? That Nick Fury currently holds? That was the center of the first Avengers movie? Yeah, it's the Space Stone. The Infinity Stones provided a clear line which the audience could follow. And we could see the threat this Thanos guy would possess if he gathered all the stones. With the multiverse saga, we don't have that. We don't have that clear line where all these problems come from. However, the line where most of the conflict comes from didn't matter for the most of the MCU's infancy. If you look at Phase 1, what mattered was building the emotional capital with the audience. We had a nice focus in a tight group of characters, in the form of Iron Man, Thor, and Captain America. Let's ignore the Hulk for a bit. In Phase 2, we largely kept the same narrow focus on the three characters. Iron Man got another sequel, Thor got a sequel, Captain America got a sequel, and then we had some outliers like Ant-Man and Guardians. Phase 3 is when we got really crazy, but by then, the MCU had built up enough emotional capital needed to justify us watching all these films. Not to mention, in the case of Doctor Strange, the Infinity Stones did appear. Phase 4 doesn't give us a thematic reason to tie everything together, nor does it give us a character to tie everything together. Instead of branching off from one central point, it's more like seeing glass shatter. We know that the pieces fit together, but it's difficult to see how they fit together and cumbersome to find out. With the Multiverse Saga, we're trying to go back to Phase 1 and be all experimental all over again. However, it forgets that the nice small focus of characters we once have isn't here anymore. We are solely relying on brand recognition at this point, which isn't good. It's actually hurting the MCU that way. Everyone is bored at the seemingly aimless nonsense that we're just getting. So how would I fix this mess? Let's start with fixing Phase 4 for a moment. The snap killed half the universe. Five years later, the Hulk restores of those people. Phase 4 should have initially been about the whole effects of a snap. After all, we can't just forget those five years happened. They happened in universe, let's do something with them. I'm generally fine with WandaVision because it's Wanda processing her grief and rage at losing Vision as a direct effect of Thanos. Meanwhile, Far From Home has the consequences of Tony's death on Peter's consciousness. Falcon and Winter Soldier dealt with the societal impact and political ramifications of the snap. If you can't give us a nice, clear through line through the characters, then we have to tie it together with a common theme. And the snap happening and we have to clean up this mess left behind is a nice common theme to have. You don't even need to be that heavy-handed when it comes to it. You can just easily allude to it with some of the dialogue, or you can have it play a role in the character's arc but not the overall plot of the movie, like Guardians 3 did. While I can't say we can just fix all of the uh, problems brought about by the snap, other problems arising concurrently with the social and political issues of the snap can happen. After all, you can tease it, have some characters be confused over the nature of some object, like this post credit scene of Shang-Chi, and uh, it's unknown to both magical and technological sources. Hmm... Then we can get into the details of the multiverse itself. Half characters simply stumble into different universes and are equally as confused as the audience as to why this happened. Have them go on adventures together. Actually take time to explore these universes because the biggest sin of a multiverse story is not actually exploring the universes you're asking us to care about. 
introduce ways of accessing the multiverse, and even have it be accidental. You can still have No Way Home happen. However, characters will be confused to high hell as to why the multiverse is in danger in the first place. Throw in some dialogue to make Strange a little bit less stupid by saying how the multiverse shouldn't be this easy to access. Multiverse of Madness, meanwhile, we can have Wanda's rampage come off of WandaVision. The characters are still confused as to why these strange, pun intended, things are happening to the multiverse, such as the incursions. Then you can start bringing in Loki and the universe pruning. Then you can start setting up Kang that way. Then you can tie them all together. Also, use the Avengers films as checkpoints rather than just end points, like I know for a fact they want the Kang Dynasty and Secret Wars to be the end points, but that's not going to work. You're going to need to set up some checkpoints to allow the audience to know where they are in the story. Because when Kamala asked in the teaser trailer for the Marvels, is this an Avengers test, I found myself utterly confused because who the hell are the Avengers? Just saying an update on what the hell the Avengers are collectively doing, or who even is in the Avengers at this point, would help them a lot and give us some nice checkpoints to know the direction this story is going. We had Avengers, we had Age of Ultron, we had Captain America, which was just Avengers 2.5, in order to build up to Infinity War and Endgame. We don't have that here. It's sad to see the MCU in such a state when so many people's childhoods were shaped by these films. I don't claim that these fixes will solve all the problems, but I will say that these fixes will give the audience a nice through line to help it flow better and make it seem more connected, rather than just be random stories branching out into infinity with scant connections to each other. And yes, I am aware of the criticism of Phase 4 and Phase 5 that we're having so much content coming out that people are just getting apathetic and bored of it, and honestly, I don't think I can find a solution to that because I understand that criticism. I express that criticism because it's honestly apathetic when you get so much content churning out and not much in the way of motivation to watch it because it's not something directed towards me or you. But still, the fact that it's still connecting into the MCU might cause it to just continuity collapse, and I don't know how to solve that problem. But if you enjoyed this video, or have a solution to the idea of interconnectivity with shows or movies you don't like, please consider commenting that. This is Cyril signing off.